Hi, my name is Mr. Allen and I teach band. Hi, I'm Mrs. Wonk and I teach choir and band. Hello, I'm Ms. Sponsler and I teach orchestra. Hi everybody, my name is Mr. Albright and I teach choir. Hi there, I'm Mr. Little and I get to work with the band, orchestra, and the choir. Welcome to the choir room. Auditorium. This is the band room. Fifth graders, follow me to the brand new auditorium. This is a beautiful space and it's really special because none of our other middle schools have ever had an auditorium. So we are really excited about using this space. During the day, we get to use this space as a classroom, so regardless of whether or not you choose band, orchestra, or choir, you'll get to be on this stage for rehearsals and for performing for 704 of your friends and family. Fifth graders, we hope that you've enjoyed your virtual tour of Brunswick Middle School's music department. We are so excited to have you in band, choir, or orchestra next year. Up next, we're gonna head over to our high school choir, band, and orchestra teachers, and a few students to help you choose for next year's ensemble. All right, everyone, let's go to the high school. Yeah! We're, We're Sopranos! Yeah! We're Basers! Yeah! We're Altos! Yeah! We're, We're Tenors! I can be hurtful, I can be purple, I can be anything you like. I can be brown, I can be blue, I can be violet sky. I can be hurtful, I can be purple, I can be anything you like. I can be brown, I can be blue, I can be violet sky. I can be hurtful, I can be purple, I can be anything you like. I can be brown, I can be blue, I can be violet sky. I can be hurtful, I can be purple, I can be anything you like. I can be brown, I can be blue, I can be violet sky. I can be purple, I can be purple, I can be anything you like. I can be brown, I can be blue, I can be violet sky. I can be purple, I can be purple, I can be anything you like. Join the choir! Twelfth grade. I am the Camerata Orchestra and I've been playing the violin for eight years. So what makes the violin different from all of the other instruments in the orchestra is that the violin is the smallest of the string family and we also play the highest notes and most of the time we get the melody. So we get to play stuff like and we also get really high-pitched melodies like My name's Maeve, I'm a junior in the orchestra, and I've been playing the viola for seven years. The viola is an amazing instrument. It is similar to the violin, although it is slightly larger, and it has some different strings so that we can reach lower notes. Um, the open strings on the viola are A, D, D, and C. As violas, 
we get to play a lot of really cool and fun parts. Sometimes we team up with the cello and basses as lower strings, other times we team up with the violins as upper strings, and sometimes we get a unique part that is completely our own. So it's really fun because we get to be involved in a little bit of everything. To show you a little bit of how the viola sounds, I'm going to be playing How Far, I go how far I'll Go from Moana. Adam Kennedy and I am a junior at Brunswick High School. I've been playing the cello for seven years. So this is what the cello looks like. As you can see there's an end pin that goes out to the floor and you sit while playing it. Um, since it was a string instrument you can go low or very high and slide around the fingerboard. Um, I'm gonna play a few songs. This is some of the pieces I've played in orchestra. This is also, um, like the cello has a very mellow tone compared to the other instruments. And here's another song. Hello! Do you enjoy cooperating with different groups? How about exploring a variety of genres? Perhaps the double bass is the instrument for you. I'm Beckin. I'm a member of the Camerata Orchestra and the Jazz Band. I've been playing the bass since fifth grade, and looking back, I wouldn't have it any other way. The bass is normally a harmony-based instrument because of its lower range. Because of this, I can focus on more advanced skills on my own time. Plus, thanks to learning this buddy, I can also play the electric bass. If you're not convinced yet, take a listen! As a bass player, you'll have a deep and rich sound trying your hand at multiple styles, like classical and jazz. So what are you waiting for? It's time to touch bass with your teachers that you want to try this instrument out for yourself. Sarah Hennigan, I'm a senior in high school and I'm here to talk to you about the flute. I've been playing the flute for eight years and it's a super fun instrument to play, but let's just start off with the basics. The flute is a wind instrument, meaning you use your air to play and it's a part of the woodwind family for a couple reasons. One, you don't buzz like brass players do to play. Two, it's not made out of brass like brass instrument. And three, see that cork right there? And those two corks right there, those wood pieces also make it a woodwind. The flute is a very special woodwind because it doesn't use this wood piece. This is called a reed. You'll learn all about this with clarinets and saxophones, but the flute doesn't need that to play. Actually, if you have an empty water bottle, I have an empty glass soda pop bottle. You just blow across it. That's exactly how you play the flute, just like that. See? I'm also Super. going to play You've Got a Friend in Me from Toy Story, just so you can hear a little bit more about what the flute can play.
Hello, my name is Evan Gabeline. I am a senior at Brunswick High School and I play the clarinet in the wind ensemble. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is the clarinet itself. A clarinet is a woodwind instrument. The reason it classifies as a woodwind is because you play with one of these things. This is called a reed. What happens is the reed vibrates while you blow air onto it to cause it to create a sound. One thing that makes playing the clarinet different than other instruments is it is an open hold instrument. So as you can see, the keys here, they only have the ring around it and you have to put your finger on to cover the hole. Another know. cool thing about the clarinet is that it has the largest range out of any woodwind instrument. When playing the clarinet, you don't always see classical music. Sometimes you get to see jazz music. I'm going to leave you off with a little example of jazz that I got to play. Hey guys, my name is Bailey, I play the trumpet. Um, I've played since 5th grade and I'm now a senior at Brunswick High School and I'm basically here to tell you why I love it so much and why you should choose to play it. First off, there are a lot of reasons I like playing the trumpet. Um, some of those reasons include I love the way it looks, I just think it's a pretty instrument and um, I've always really liked the appearance of it. And the other thing is that it's really recognizable. Most people know what a trumpet is or um, they know what it sounds like. And the other thing is that I love many different genres of music, but one of my favorites is jazz. And I love playing jazz music, and trumpet's a popular jazz in Hey guys, my name is Ryan, I'm a senior at the high school, and I've been playing the trombone for eight years now. So today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the trombone to see if you want to play it next year. So the trombone, in general, is a pretty simple instrument. There's only three parts. You've got the bell, the slide, and the mouthpiece. So the trombone is part of the brass family, which, like the woodwind family, we use wind to create sort of a sound. Now, unlike woodwind players, we need to buzz to create a sound, creating a vibration. Now, if it translates to my instrument, it creates a sound. Hi guys, my name is Anthony. I'm a junior at the high school and I play the baritone euphonium. So first thing about the baritone, it's a brass instrument, which means you play by buzzing into the mouthpiece, unlike woodwinds where you blow into the reed. That's what it sounds like. You put it in the instrument and do the same thing. Baritone and my friend Dylan, he's gonna play something that hopefully you guys will recognize. I think it's a little bit of Star Wars. So I hope to see you playing the baritone next year. Thank mm -hmm. you.